Hey everybody, uh, Rob Hillich here with Harding's Your Improvement Company, and I'm here with Daniel Demis today, uh, and this is Brushstrokes of Success. Welcome again. Daniel, how are you? Good. Thank yeah. you, Rob, for inviting me to this podcast. No, I, I love that. I wanted to bring you on because you are our newest franchise partner. Um, you started with us as a subcontractor, uh, working for one of our other franchisees. Um, and that was for a couple of years. And then you expressed interest about purchasing the Airdrie and Cochrane franchise. Uh, and so tell us more about that. Like you, you worked with us as a subcontractor. How did you like doing that? What were the ins and outs? And then what made you want to become a franchise partner with us? I started working for Cody in COVID. Um, and I, I was uh, pretty experienced. So my journey with him was fast because he he saw the experience on me and yeah. I have some time to improve. Nice. So as you worked with him as a subcontractor, uh, you saw the opportunity that we had as far as a franchise partner to pick up uh, Cochrane and Airdrie. What uh, what was the what was what was behind that? What was the purpose of that? Like what what made you want to become a franchise partner? from working as a painting subcontractor? Uh, I, I'm always believe there is a, a, a good opportunity on servicing uh, residential customers. Um, and I was uh, blessed to learn the, the trade. Um, so I get in the point where I want more growth. And the only yeah. way I can, I can get that growth was being my own boss. Okay, and how are you enjoying it? Uh, as a subcontractor, as a subcontractor working for someone, uh, you um, learn how to manage manage times and run a business uh, in in a, a, a business of that size. Um, that's different when you start running. Um, a, a whole territory or a whole area. Yeah. Uh, so the transition was hard at the beginning, uh, especially because uh, I'm still in the tools and I'm trying to move uh, to be out of the tools. So in that way, I can be yeah. more focused on the on the on the business on the business itself. And and that's one of the things that we always try to um, I guess implore upon our franchise partners is that the idea is to get off the tools become project manager become an estimator um and let the crews do the work so that you can help grow the business and build the relationships with the clients and and the, the hardest thing for a, a person who who is a subcontractor and try to make a business is to create all the structure around the business hardings had longevity in in the market uh, our a structure digital and yeah. like offices and all that kind of things uh, not everyone can uh, offer uh, so um, when i decide to get in into the, uh, the franchise uh, i study the the competition but was a no-brainer to get into into hardings uh, yeah. because the information about the franchisee in the website was extremely clear yeah. on numbers, what you need. And the initial investment wasn't extremely high like the other companies okay. uh, because I checked three different companies who offer franchise systems. And the most important thing uh, not, uh, any other company can offer, and that was the main thing, Yeah, uh, the Google review thing. Yeah. Uh, for the price, the Google review, yeah, uh, we are extremely st strong in our digital presence is extremely strong in the market. Uh, and yeah. it's I appreciate that because that's something that Vicky and I work very hard on doing. Um, and it's I guess, you know, when, when we look at it from uh, trying to come in as a franchise partners perspective, you know, we end of day, the franchisees need to make money. Um, and if we're not structuring it in such a way that our business is going to be successful in the marketing and digital marketing, standard marketing, you know, word of mouth, previous clients, whatever it may be, 
uh, if we're not structuring it in such a way that we're providing the leads to you that are going to be good quality leads that you're able to act on and go out and visit with and turn into active closing jobs, then there's really not much point to doing it, is there? We, we have that presence, but at the same time, we, we, we've been in the business because our quality of work is uh, outstanding. And I believe, in my opinion, uh, Cardings was one of the pioneers uh, in residential services in the construction side. Not, not everyone was in residential services in construction yeah. uh, 15 years ago. Oh, and, and, and that's true. And that's, uh, I, I think, a testament to our founder, Dalton Harding. When he started the company as, in, in 1996 as a painting company, but also, uh, you know, when Attila became the president, I'm um, bringing on those electric services back in 2011, so 14, 15 years ago, you're right, um, and doing the handyman stuff and the renovations and adding all those different services. So that helped us um, just become a much larger company and being able to pool our resources on how we bring in new clients for our franchise partners. So that's been, that's been pretty cool. So in your experience with us so far, um, you talked about, you know, the quality, what's your commitment to quality? What do you, what do you, I mean, what are you always trying to drill down to your subcontractors on, you know, when we walk into a customer's home and thank them for inviting us into their home? Um, where do you take it from there as far as ensuring the quality? My main goal when I get to a client's house is to deliver the same service uh, our company been delivering for the last uh, 20 years. And I always have present to add value to my customers. Yeah. So the only way to add value to my customers uh, is to have a extremely, extremely good process and a extremely good uh, customer service. Yeah. Awesome. So the painting went well. You did that for about a year or almost a year. Um, before our texturing and ceiling repair division became available. Uh, it was up for sale because we had a gentleman retiring. Uh, and the first thing you did was come to me and go, I want it. And, and we awarded it to you because of the work, good work you'd already been doing on the painting side. So tell me about that transition. How have you liked doing the ceiling texturing as well as uh, ceiling repair? How's that working? Um, it, it was a big change because um, to keep the quality, you have to have expertise in each area you are doing. Yep. Uh, so jumping from painting to drywall or, and ceiling texture, uh, it was a big change. Yeah. But um, I was around from uh, very experienced people who teach me the process, and I I add pro, I add technology to the process to make it more more efficient and less messy for the client. Okay. Because at the end, is uh, I have to add value to the client, but it's not only at the finished job. Uh, for me, um, the quality comes in all the process. So what I identify, um, we have some those control yeah. problems. I'm trying to improve that part so the client uh, can have a better environment at the end of the job. When, you know, in, in years previous, we had great quality work from the franchise partners that were involved, uh, but our original franchise partner on that, you know, we we're, we're doing the old school scrape, you know, spray with water, scrape it off. We would have to go through a ton of masking entire homes basically with plastic uh, and scraping everything down by trowel to using the latest and coolest technology. Explain to me what a little bit about that a little bit about that technology and, and, and how it works. What does that do to cut down the dust and uh, the intrusion into customers' homes so we can make it that much more efficient? There, there is one. Uh, there is always going to be dust involved in the process, but um, with the machines uh, we have in the market right now, is just um, first of all to have the uh, power to get the equipment because they're not cheap. Yep. And the second and the most important thing, even for me, uh, the training to use the equipment. So we have to uh, create the system yep. to to do, to improve the finish. Um, I, I've been spending a lot of money in pads, uh, sanding, uh, sanding papers, uh, different systems to extract different kind of 
dust or particles. Yep. But right now we have uh, our process, and that reduce up to sixty uh, up to sixty percent the amount of dust in the house. Yep. Uh, and the most important thing, we keep the workers clean from the environment to be working in front of the popcorn. Yeah. Uh, it's not it's not a for me it's a big safety issue. The yep. the goal is to improve that process to have less dust in the house. So that's you touch on the safety part of it. We all know what asbestos is. Um, we've all heard about it on TV or whatever it may be, or some of us have had to deal with it. And how do you go about if somebody does have asbestos in their home? Um, or if we suspect there's this asbestos in the popcorn or the acoustic ceiling, what's the process then? Do we, we have a company that comes in and tests it? Do we ask the customer to test it first before we come in? How do we protect um, not only the client's home and the people in the home, but how do we protect our people? Um, I personally do the testing. I do the scraping and provide that service to the client so the client can uh, doesn't have to spend their time doing the testing the okay. testing is very really accurate and when the results shows you the asbestos sometimes shows you three percent four percent sometimes fifty okay. percent there yeah. is clients who say you know it's three percent but still you can do the job you know okay. but for us if it's three percent point zero zero three percent it's still asbestos so we don't touch that and the process is um, give the information for the right company to do all the asbestos uh, process. We always advise the clients that you to give a, a call. If we, we put them through to you or ask them to call an asbestos solution company um, that will, you know, test it for them so they have some peace of mind, mm -hmm. right? Um, and don't ever, ever do it yourself. But, uh, because the problem is if you do the removal, you, you, you were exposed. But when my workers go to the job site, your walls, the carpet, everything has yeah, asbestos. Everything, everything has some sort of minute trace of it that's not safe for us to be in. It doesn't make sense. Let's make sure the right people take care of that. Mm -hmm. um, that's awesome. So as part of the work on the texturing, um, not only are you a painter with us and, and are able to do all of that work through Cochrane and Airdrie, but we're doing drywall repair as part of that. Um, and I think that, that was birthed through the fact that um, Half the time we're doing texturing, it's because of there was a stain on the ceiling or a hole or whatever it may be. Um, how much has that become a big part of your business? Like poly B, you know, pl plumbing removal and fixing all those holes, things like that. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, yeah, uh, we have a large amount of leads uh, to do a small repairs because um, we have an excellent reputation to be uh, masters in patching and matching. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you need a, a knockdown repair and a pretty good match, uh, I can tell you we are the only three companies in Calgary who do that. And I can tell you uh, we are the best in matching knockdown. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Um, we're the best painters too, so it works out well. You're bringing on new crews. You're growing. Um, congratulations on winning the Business Builder of the Year award, by the way, uh, at our at our holiday party this year. Um, you're just growing leaps and bounds. You brought on a, a new crew. You continue to bring on a few more crews, um, and you brought on a new estimator to help you as well. So, what's the future aspirations? Like you're you're gearing up to take over the world. What's the plans? The plans for this year is to increase the sales uh, at least five to ten percent uh, to keep the growth yep. uh, keep improving uh, the quality uh, at the end w when we finalize our work um, uh, the dose control yep. I, I wanna be uh, the best company in dose control in texture and drywall and yep. I, I have a plan to um, better than leave the asbestos to other company to provide the full service in cardings. But to do that, I need to uh, uh, get license and yeah. get more research about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you want to take over the asbestos world as well? Yeah. Uh, because w we get lots of leads on that and we are leaving that to another company. Yeah. Uh, but um, that's, uh, that's something 
it has to be research and certified. Yeah. Perfect. Um, last little question is, you know, Hardings, you started a franchise with us. We've got two of them now, painting and texturing. Um, if, if you could tell anybody who's watching this video, if they were considering to purchase a Hardings franchise, what would you say to them? Uh, do it. The I money, like, I the, like that answer. <laughs> the money you are going to invest in this, if you are a hard worker, and you sacrifice and you have an excellent management of time and an excellent management of your money yeah uh, there is no way you are gonna you're gonna lose the, and the, the the most important thing uh you have in, you have a structure and you have people to support you because the the change between being a, a worker or subcontractor to being an owner and deal with the client straight uh, is a big step and you Vicky and the team in Hardings uh, make everything uh, smooth to give you the the resources to, to succeed awesome I appreciate that sir thank <laughs> you very much no thank you so that is uh, another episode of uh, Brush Joe's of Success um, don't forget to ditch the DIY and hire Hardings instead take care thank you <laughs>